Did you know that you exist on three planes? By plane, I mean a level of existence. In fact, here's another question you've never been asked. How many of these planes are you currently using to change your reality and manifest your dreams? Using all three planes is a cheat code, but using one is a death sentence, which is exactly what you are doing, have been doing, and will continue to do so if you don't finish this video. Now, 98% of the world only use one plane, which is exactly why they will never manifest their desires. But by the end of this video, you will see how you can use all three planes to bend reality to your will. The physical plane is what you call reality. It's everything you've ever known, everything you can see, touch, taste, smell, and hear. It is the world of the ego that you animate. It's real to you, but it's not actually real. In fact, by definition, it's an illusion. This doesn't mean that it's fake. It just means that there's more to it than meets the eye. Scientifically speaking, you only see 0.0035% of reality. You can only see visible light which is a small fraction of the entirety of the electromagnetic spectrum. Your eyes actually just don't have the capacity to see the rest. To take it further, subatomic particles have been recorded in scientific experiments to react to human consciousness. Almost like a game, how it renders the world around based upon the perception of the avatar. Reality being an illusion has been known for centuries by ancient mystics. In the Hermetic philosophy, it's referred to as the divine paradox, in the Kabbalah traditions, it's known as the world of 1%. In the Vedic system, it's known as the world of Maya. The physical plane is the realm of effect. Everything that you'd experience here, every circumstance of failure, success, poverty, wealth, is merely a shadow cast by the mind. Where do my thoughts come from? Is every thought that I have mine? This is a question asked by all, never to be answered until the next two minutes. Have you ever seen one of those interviews where a successful person gets asked, how did you come up with this idea? And they respond, it just came to me. Came from where? Welcome to the mental plane. You can imagine the mental plane to kind of be like a layer of immaterialized thought, like clouds of thought potentials throughout the fabric of reality. Nothing here is confined by time because that is an illusion of the physical plane. So every thought that could exist throughout all of time exists here. You know, something like a time travel machine or the iPhone 300. Now, the mental plane is the realm of cause. It is the womb of reality and it exists within your subconscious mind. All that you experience in reality, everything that you could experience from poverty to wealth, to success to failure, to a particular circumstance is first created here. This is the realm where seeds are planted. Now, remember, Everything that you see in reality was first a thought, which is a form of imagination, something that's not yet tangible. Now, the world that we walk in is just a world of frozen imagination. Manifestation is simply the changing of a state of thought into a more solid form. That's it. In the same way that water, steam, and ice are all the same except change in vibration, you know, matter and imagination are different in vibration. That's literally it. Where do you go while you're dreaming? Have you ever thought about that? somehow while your eyes are closed and your body is still you're able to go places and see things and see people how welcome to the spiritual plane the spiritual plane is where your spirit body exists sometimes it's called the astral body you know hence why we have terms such as astral projection spiritual plane astral plane it's all the same thing regardless this is the plane that connects reality through the connectivity of the essence or the divine spark of God or the infinite intelligence. Your connection to those around you and the creator is linked in through this plane, almost like devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network. This is why you are one with everybody. You know, this is the concept of non-duality, the fact that each individual that you see is simply your essence, just physically expressed differently. I think about it like having, you know, a couple of water bottles, you know, there's a red one there's a blue one there's a green one there's a yellow one regardless of the external appearance internally they all still have the same water and that is the connection it's the connection beyond the illusion your spiritual plane is where the true you exists the immortal you the electrical you so much so that encasing the spirit into the body exhausts the body to the point where the body has to rest and the spirit has to come out and this is what happens when you dream you get so tired because it's so energetically powerful that you know you get the body exhausted and then the spirit comes out and goes to dream and goes to move around at the start of this video i said 98 percent of the world only use one plane 
if you want to find out if that's you then listen up there are people who work as hard as possible they do long hour days 60 hour weeks working themselves to the absolute bone to the point of exhaustion and that's a trap you then have your typical new ages who are those that believe reality can be changed just by thinking and wishing for what you want all day burning sage and never actually physically executing anything that's a trap finally you have your typical religious people who are those who just pray thinking god will do everything for them or they do nothing at all and guess what that's also a trap from the person who works hard to the person who wishes hard to the person who prays hard none of their realities are ever going to change and if this is you then listen because here's the secret that i promised you at the start of the video here is the secret on how to use all three planes to your existence let's look at it like instruments an individual instrument produces a decent sound by itself but a combination of instruments together produce a beautiful symphony in our case a universal symphony and this is the result of what you get from maximizing the physical plane maximizing the mental plane and finally maximizing the spiritual plane now pay very close attention to the order that i'm about to instruct you in. begin with the spiritual plane this comes about by a recognition and an internalization that god dwells within you which if you internalize this and understand it it will put you in a different vibration that will make reality bend to your world because you know the world you walk around in bends to you because you are God encased in the ego. The recognition of your true cosmic identity and the conviction in that is a necessity before any successful manifestation because you, it's almost like knowing that there's an energy that goes beyond you. It's, a, it's, it's beyond you that will get things done for you. And that conviction is important because conviction and confidence are elixirs to manifestation. Then follow on to the mental plane. Whatever you desire, Hold it in your mind as if it is already complete and navigate reality or thinking from the attainment of your desire. This is what Neville Goddard called fourth dimensional thinking. Shout out to him. Remember, the mental plane is the realm of cause and it is here that you are sowing your seeds on a higher plane of existence. Finally, you have the physical plane. After coming into your true cosmic identity and dominating the mental plane, only at that point will you be able to take the necessary action to manifest your desire. Because if your mind isn't established in the state of consciousness that you're trying to move in, it will always be difficult. Think about it like when you start to go to the gym. When you start to go to the gym and you're trying to get into it, if it rains, you'll be like, oh, I'll go another day. If it's, you know, 7 p.m., you'll be like, oh, I'll go another day. The point being, when your mind isn't in a state of somebody who works out, working out becomes difficult but when you're in the state of mind of somebody who works out you need to work out you feel bad if you don't work out working out is almost like a loss to you so it's important that you establish the mental and spiritual plane first then follow on to the physical plane action now the mental and spiritual plane will position you correctly to take the correct action and it will feel right now, you must actively work in respect to your desire, utilizing all available resources, following your intuition. Intuition is comprised of two words, inner and tuition, your inner guidance. You'll know the action that you have to take. You always know what you have to do. In fact, you're watching this video, you know that there's something that you have to do right now. And that is what you should follow by first establishing connection on the spiritual plane and then the mental plane. And that third one is almost created like a beautiful sandwich. And at that point, you will hear the universal symphony. A problem with all the manifestation content out there is that it's all woo-woo, non-practical advice. And that's a major issue because I'm not trying to just know about all this stuff. I'm trying to use it and integrate it into my life. And that's exactly why I created the Hacking Reality newsletter. Currently, there are 1,800 people tapping in every Sunday, receiving practical, actionable, esoteric tips to control their reality. If you want to manifest more money, more success, and more inner peace practically with Esoteric Secrets of the Universe, then link in the description.